Hello all, TechGeek311 here with another app review and tutorial. Today we're going to cover errands. Okay, in today's app review and tutorial we're going to cover an app called Errands. I'm going to go in here to the App Store so I can show you how Errands looks in there. Now Errands basically is a to-do list. That's all it is. What I like about it though is it gives you various pages for what you're doing. So you have all your tasks, home, work, whatever you name it for. You can see you can add pictures to it or you can use their stock images. Here you have all the folders. So this is your folder setup page, your focus, your logbook, your unassigned. Here you, get, you have your calendar. So it shows you a full set calendar with the little dot showing you you have an event for that day. You also have on, on the focus section your overdue, so you know which ones you've missed. And then, you, of course, in your all task, when you tap on a task, it gives you a drop down menu. So you have it setting, alarm, uh, priority, move to another date, notes, and edit screen. Go down here to description. You can see all the key benefits of this one. See that it fully supports Cloud Sync. That's like a premium version, it has alerts, reminders, folders all that stuff in here. You can see that it was updated last on February 4th of 2013 which is good to know that it was done at least this year. You can go into the developers info see all the apps that they currently do. You can go into the in-app purchases where you can upgrade to their premium version that will cost you $2.99. You can also go into their version history and see how many times this app has been updated and what's new on it. The app actually came out back in October of 2009, so it's been out for quite a while, but to know that it's been updated February of this year, that's good to know. Alright, so we're going to go into errands now, and I'll go ahead and show you. I've got mine set up with a bunch of my stuff here. Now you can see I have a couple of things that are overdue. When I want to get rid of this one, because let's say I've already done it, I've already finished it, there's a little tiny box below the picture. If I tap that, and it takes it away. It shows that I've, I've checked it off. Tap the next one. Tap the next one here. Next one here. And the last one. And that's it. You tap all those boxes. You can see whatever's been completed. Alright, so this one here, I want to change its date. So I tap on it, it's going to give me this drop down menu. I have its settings, alarm, priority, move to another date, notes, and edit. Well, I'm going to go to edit and I want to move this to, let's go into, well let me go ahead and show you this screen first. You have your edit for your photo, so you can change your photo there. You have your little arrow here that gives you the choice to put your title and to put your details. You have your notes section, so you can add whatever notes you want. You can set those notes as a checklist, which I'll show you in another one of mine. You can set what folder you want this in. So I created all these folders with that little plus sign on the top. You can add it if you want it to auto star itself, have the star on or have the star off. Now auto star, the way auto works is auto will auto star the task based on your settings, task, and your auto star. So based on how you have it set up, if you want it to automatically star itself, it can do it for you. You can set your priority, high, medium, low, or none. You can set your due date by picking on the calendar or on the very bottom you have a none, today, tomorrow, or in one week. You can set your due time by scrolling AM, PM, or no due time. You have your alert. You can make your alerts active. Pick your sound. So you get a choice of a lot of sounds here to choose from. You can remind you once you can have it nag you every minute, every hour, remind you daily or weekly. And then on the bottom you can choose now or you can choose the due date. You can have it repeat. Now the thing about this is you can really set it to repeat whenever you want. You can change it to repeat on the month, first day, last day, or certain days of the week. You can even check the weekends if you want. And then, of course, you can have it repeat through to a certain date. You can give it a deadline. Okay, and then you can delete it at the very end. So I want to change this one. 
Uh, this one needs to be set for December, but actually I'm going to set it for the end of November. Then I hit the word done. Now you notice it automatically changed my alert. Since I have this one as a repeat, my alert automatically changed to the same day. When I'm done with that, I hit done. You notice how it disappeared from my focus. Now, on the top where it says focus, you can tap on that. It's going to bring you all your folders. You have your folders, your focus, your logbook, your unassigned, and then all the folders that I've created. Then you can also switch those folders up. So you can put them in a different order if you want. It also gives you the option on the bottom to add a folder or to edit the folders. So edit or delete the folders. On the top right corner you have the add, so you can add the task to this folder. You also have a little recycle button sitting right there on the right. If I hit the recycle button, it's going to ask me do I want to recycle these tasks that I had done a while back. You can either recycle all on the bottom right, you can switch the order of them, and you can delete them. So it's your choice what you want to do. Now you want to go from folder to folder, all you do is swipe. Just swipe across you're going to hit all the folders that you've created. That one's overdue, you can see. Here you can see future. You can see need to do. It's going to give you all the rest of the information of what you need to do. Everything. You can make whatever folders you want, however you want to do it. Okay, bottom right corner we're going to go to settings. Now in settings you can change your appearance. So you can change how you want it to look, you can change the text colors, uh, your background, uh, you can select to slide your text font so you can change the font that you have. You can go under task and you can set all these defaults. So you can set the default for priority, for due date, whatever folder, uh, any alert due time, you can set an alert for all day, uh, alert sounds, you can go into alert remind, however you want it to remind you. Uh, your new ta new task more button. All these can be defaulted. So every time you add an, uh, an, a reminder or a task or an errand, it will automatically set it for these already. You can also do the auto star. You can have it set for whatever you want. Do today, tomorrow, sooner, within. Disable it. You can have future. So how far in the future you want it to go. You can turn on and off your auto reset checklist, your alternate checklist mode, and your capitalizing of your titles. Then you have maintenance here. You can trim your recycle bins, so make them smaller. You can trim your log logbook or have it do it all for you with the auto trim. Going into general, your app icon badge. I have mine set for focus and start only. You can have none, all, or overdue and now. You can turn on or off the folder page swiping so if you don't want to swipe between the folders you can have that on or off. You can do a long press on or off for your notes. And then of course your, your backup which I have it syncing right now to iCloud. And then if you want to set a passcode lock you have the option of doing that as well. Then you can see the other apps that they have. We give you that option there. You have a little user guide. You've got the support facts and to contact them. You can visit their website, you can rate it, and you can also follow them on Twitter. If you go into the mini user guide, it's going to give you basically a brief description about it, give you a frequently asked, your settings, general, tell you pretty much how to use the application itself. Alright, now if you look on the bottom middle, uh, let's say close to the edit button, you're going to see a little calendar. If I tap on that, I get my calendar and I get a little plus sign so I can add an event on, in the focus folder because that's what I'm in right now. You also have this little arrow. If you want to mail that folder, send it to somebody. And you have a little eye. So you can choose if you want the regular mode, condensed mode, sort by your folder on or off, your due date, priority, alphabetical, or manual. And, like I said, you can change the swiping if you don't like it. Okay, so if you are the type of person that has a lot of errands to do, a lot of errands to run, and you need something that you can uh, help you manage that to remind you, 
give you an I, I, app iClimb badge so that you can see what you have pending, then Aaron's is a good one to use. Now being that it has been updated as of February this year, I do hope that they update it for iOS 7 coming in September uh, because I believe this app can be very useful with iOS 7. But if you want to check this app out, uh, go down that link below. You can go ahead and check it out in the App Store. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial and app review. Uh, I recommend this app if you're per a person that has a lot of errands to do or have kids that have errands to do. Then uh, go ahead and check it out. See if you like it. See if it's something for you. Uh, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to this. I thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you have any comments, leave it in the comment below. I'll talk to you later.